that was absolutely the best one, bro. Like if I, it, I'd go as far to say, if I ever wanted to get somebody interested in the lore of Overwatch or even kind of nudge them to play the game or something, that is what I'd show them. It's been a while since I watched anything Overwatch. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of recorded those Overwatch reactions a long time ago, kind of thinking they just kind of died. They did way better than I kind of anticipated and much love to you guys for showing support on those videos, especially since like a week after I uploaded, they still had like no views on them. So I thought it was finally time for me to react to the origin stories. So many people were asking for it. And a lot of the questions I was asking myself during those videos were kind of answered in this. So if you haven't watched those videos, I highly recommend doing that before this. So without further ado, this is the start of the origin stories and it starts with Tracer. And seeing that it's 720p, I can tell it was a different time. So let's freaking do this. Okay, Overwatch Tracer origin story. Let me get into it, man. Wait, what? What is she saying? I I could not hear her. Teleporting fighter. Why does the audio dip like that? Is that a mistake? This is on the, oh, this isn't even the official channel uploading that. Oh, oh, I guess maybe they just didn't have tracers. Um, but the rest is by Overwatch. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Tracer, <laughs> that's me. It was the sort of opportunity I dreamed of my whole life. But on my first flight, the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and I disappeared. I was missing for months. I no one knew where or when I had gone. By the time Overwatch found me, I was little more than a ghost. The doctors Dang. saw my condition, chronal disassociation. I faded in and out of existence, disappearing for hours and days at a time. And even when I was there, I couldn't touch anything. But my friend Oh, was it's funny because, um, not to spoil it, but um, the Steinsgate movie did something sort of similar. I won't spoil the lead up and stuff, but it, it did some, a con it, it messed with the concept similar to this. Finn would not give up. He kept at it day and night until he invented the chronal harness that keeps me anchored to the present. Oh, so he actually made it. Even better, it turned my condition into something great. I had Ooh. control over my own time and I could speed it up and slow it down at will. My career as a pilot was over, but my life as an Overwatch agent had begun. Did he calls? Sounds like someone needs me. But don't worry, yeah. we'll have plenty of time for stories later. <laughs> Cheers! It, it's funny because, like, I love that, you know, Winston was able to do that for Tracer. Like, I, you guys, like, should know if you've seen the original videos. But I freaking love Winston, man. He's so cool. Such a great guy, man. This is, like... He's what I envision is like the leader of Overwatch. Well, I don't I don't know if that's actually true, but when I think of the leader of this team, he's who I think of. It seems like he deserves it to me. My name is Jack Morrison. Jack People Morrison. Used to call me a hero. Oh, the voice, bro. Y'all know how I get, dude. I led Overwatch for 20 years. We I had Overwatch. The nah, freaking Winston deserves that, bro. Actually, I don't know if he was in the OG. Oh, that's what I was curious about. Like, there was an original Overwatch team. That's Ana. That's uh, Reaper, Torbjorn, and uh, Reinhardt. Wait, hero. I led Overwatch for 20 years. We ended the Omnic Crisis and paved the way to a better future. Those were the good old days. They didn't last. Mm. Bad guys popped up all over the world. Lots of folks said we failed to keep the world safe. Protests broke out. They said that we were the problem. That's so dumb, bro. Cause like, that's not like an original story kind of thing where, you know, these bad guys are only popping up in New York, you know, because you're here, Spider-Man, you know, it's cause these mutants are here, you know, like it, like it, it's so dumb. If you genuinely think that bad guys are attracted to the heroes, 
you know, maybe in something a little bit more poetic, but more realistically, you, you think people who want to do wrong would you know, avoid Overwatch. I would, I like, if I knew Overwatch is constantly in this town or in these places, I would try to go somewhere where they wouldn't go and operate there. You know, at least that's just it to me. You know, why would you want to protest against the people who have been saving you? Yeah, they might not have been able to, you know, save everyone and everywhere, but, you know, why are you protesting the the people who are trying their best homie you get down with overwatch how about you how about you get up how about you how about you man up woman up how about you get out there i want to see you out there killing it bro when people call and she looked like a karen too that one on the right they she looked like a karen wish it was a conspiracy overwatch got hit from inside and out mm. our enemies blew up our headquarters and me with it. Dang. They thought I died. Part of me did. But the war goes on. Now Dang. I move in secret, striking from the shadows, hunting all those that brought Overwatch down. Yeah. Call me a vigilante if you want. Truth is, I'm just a soldier. Don't tell me it's over, bro. Dang it, man. Why? Again, I said it in that other uh, video. Why the freak is there not an Overwatch show, man? I hate that. I hate that there's no Overwatch show. It's a, it's criminal or a movie, man. It's criminal. It's criminal. On a moment in crowd, their spree of mayhem and chaos has caused untold millions in property damage around Woo! the world. But who are these two deranged junkers? And what They're the junkers. Their orgy of destruction? Is this the work of master criminals? Hold up. What word did he use? Inspired their orgy of destruction. Homie, there were a million and one other um, other <laughs> words to describe that. There, there are so many other things. Is this the work of master criminals or just a couple of idiots? It was Junkrat who masterminded this string Jameson of Fox, 155 pounds. Six, five? Junkrat is six, five? That is stretched from the Australian outback to King's Row and beyond. Now this explosives obsessed freak has his sights set on even greater acts of destruction. His co-conspirator Seven three. Is a remorseless killer who hides his face behind a mask. This giant of a man is more than happy to use violence to resolve any situation. He wants the ice cream and he wants it now. Bombed, robbed, and killed their way across the world. And their calamitous crime spree shows no sign of slowing down. Following their personal creed of no job too Ooh. big. Dang, you really got all those prizes and stuff so the kid couldn't get any? And he just wanted one? Bro, he has a t-shirt of it, bro. Come on, man. No score too small. Are it they in, uh, there is no an Asian country because of the... Looks like Japan. End in sight to this senseless rampage. Unless we get your help. If you have any information as to the whereabouts of these two extremely dangerous criminals, you're probably already dead. Right away. Remember, crime doesn't pay, but we do. 25 milli. Hold up. I think I might have seen them dudes. I think I seen them out there on the corner. Anna. Oh, new hero. Seven years ago. Anna. Origin story. So she's uh, uh Farah. She, that's her uh, mother, I think. I think. My dearest Fariha, every Faria. mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught you that there is nothing more important than protecting the ones you love. 
You grew up surrounded by heroes. They filled your head with stories of adventure and dreams of glory. And one day, you wanted to join them. I don't feel like I know who is that, and who is that. I don't. I don't think I know who the bottom left and right most people are. I don't. I don't think I. At the top of my head, I don't but recognize who they are. The life I wanted for you. I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to keep everyone safe. But I always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. I hesitated. Widowmaker? And everything changed. The people who I was supposed to protect oh. died. And I was left behind. Gravely wounded. Ooh. The world believed that I was dead. I thought be a running theme that here. was for the best. I've lost so much in my life. I've said goodbye to so many friends. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. Yeah, you gotta get up. So you gotta I get back out there. Stop fighting. Not yet. Not while there are people still waiting for me. One day, I hope you'll understand. Well, why wouldn't she? Your mother, Anna. Is it because she was gone for so long? Or did she just not come back home? You know, did she just like she not she didn't come back home and she just went back to out to the battlefield after she got better. And this is like an apology for not coming back home, you know? Hmm. This one's animated. I mean, I guess they were all animated, you know, but who is Sombra to the system? She's nobody. She doesn't exist. No one remembers the girl. There were a thousand children like her after the war. But none of Hackers. them could hack like she could. And she learned that people were just as easily manipulated. Dang. Now she understood how the world worked. Information is power. Jeez, so as she a kept kid? Hacking. Politicians, corporations, governments. It was an addiction. But for the first time, someone noticed her. When your hardware's obsolete, it's time to upgrade. Dang, that's like some, the girl uh, is gone. that's like some freaking, uh, cyberpunk level and stuff. Sombra dude. was born. Now, I'm ready. She got out hacked and then really just did this to herself. I'll find Yo, it might out need an anime. Runs the world. I'll find their weaknesses and how to exploit them. And when I do, I'll be the one pulling the strings. Who is Sombra? You'll never know. Adios. That was fire. I liked how it, like it was animated like that. That was really nice. Again, why is there no like series for <sighs> why? I think this was the newest character when I played like uh, a wa like a long time ago, trying to get back and into the, the game after the beta. Place. Even here in Numbani, we needed something to protect us. Enter the OR 15 defense spots. They took the old Adina model from the crisis and gave them a complete makeover. They kept us safe for a while. I was at the airport when Doomfist attacked. Doomfist didn't stand a chance. Everyone else gave up on you, but I saw what you could be. So I rebuilt you, upgraded your programming, and okay. gave you a heart. New personality module installed. System rebooting. OR15 okay. online. <laughs> no, that's no good. Every great hero needs a real name. What about 
Orisa. Oh, car accident. You need you to be strong and brave. You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> and you'll probably make yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll become the hero we need. My <laughs> to be fair. I like, yeah, you kind of damage the, the public transportation, you know, in the car here. But if Orisa didn't stop them, they probably would have killed that old woman. So my name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. That is my primary function. I love that one. That one was so sweet. They didn't they don't give you the, the girl's name who actually created her. Catch up with Robotics Prodigy, Effie Ola, Ola, Oladell. Okay. Effie Oladell. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. That was cute. That was really cute. King's Row Uprising. What is this? 20 Relive years after Traces we won the war against the Omnics. We well, well, huh? 20, 20 years after we won against the war of the Omnics? 20 years after we won the war against the Omnics. We were no closer to living together in peace. The building of a new home for the Omnics in London was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But it never had a chance. The Omnic Extremist Group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. Oh, Hundreds no. were killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. Now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Oh, that's scary, and dude. We can stop them. Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's my first mission and the only way to save my home. I hope we're not too late. Dang. Oh, man. Okay. And I think this was like an event in the game. Dang. I wish I... Man, I kind of, I wish I was there for it. I definitely wasn't playing the game back then. I definitely was not playing the game back then. Oh, this is Doomfist. We've been hearing about Doomfist from e each and everybody. Oh yeah, I think I actually missed out on a couple of characters' videos in the last one. I think somebody was telling me that, but I think they're supposed to be origin stories. Uh, so I didn't actually miss out on anything. Humanity has always been tested. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Ooh, animated. Dude, did the people who animate this animate the the Batman, um, the, those DCEU animated movies? Someone in the comments let me know because that's what this looks like. If you've watched some some of those ones, like Flashpoint Paradox and stuff, that yeah, looks like that animation. Oh yeah, it's got to be the same like group or something. Makes us stronger. Do love the voice acting. It's crazy how he's this powerful. All of them are working together like this, and they still can hardly put a dent on him. Ooh. She can't control her time. who fall will be forgotten those who rise up their names will be remembered forever dang dude that gave me chills man that was a really good one bro Whoo! that was crazy dude what a cool character. Hope they don't change his role and make him extremely weak. <laughs> those who get reworked will be forgotten, but those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. 
Doomfist and Lore almost solos three extremely powerful characters. Doomfist and Game hears Whoa there and instantly dies. <laughs> Dang, man. You have to respect Doomfist's bravery here. Thought it could be seen as overconfidence. Man straight up flipped the battle to his favor in seconds. Took out both Genji and Tracer like it was nothing. Then was willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a raging, genetically engineered gorilla. But like It's like he said, every battle makes us stronger. Next time he won't underestimate Winston's rage. Dang, man. I can see by the view count and the light count. Yeah, this is that was a popular one. Dang, man. That one was really good. Moira. She's, I guess, like the best healer in the game or something, but everybody hates her because she's really annoying. <laughs> we stand on the brink of a breakthrough in human evolution. I have dedicated my life to unraveling its secrets. I take risks that others would consider to be unwise. Or I unethical, it might seem. Caution. Overwatch held back the pace of scientific discovery for decades. They believed my methods were too radical, too controversial, yeah. and they tried to silence me. But there were others in the shadows searching for ways to circumvent their rules. Wait, wait, wait. isn't that Genji and that's McCree? Freed from my shackles, the pace of our re oh, oh, she's why Reaper became like that. Such hastened. Together, we delved deeper into those areas forbidden by law, by morality, and by fear. Mm. New patrons. Oh, oh, new patrons. So she she was working with Reaper and Emerged Doomfist. Who possessed an appetite for my discoveries. Oh man, sorry, I was and leaning super far from the mic. What new world could we build? Oh, she a villain, villain. I like that. I like villains, bro. Oh man. Sigma is scary because he doesn't know what he's doing. Moira is scary because she knows exactly what she's doing. Uh, oh, so she came actually after them? I remember I remember her character. This is uh, somebody's daughter. I don't, her granddaughter, I don't remember. In stories, the hero. Aw, oh, look so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Torbjorn. <laughs> Dude, I love the little slice of life stuff. I, like, it's like, we don't get that enough in some of these media. Like, we always just see them, these characters, as they are in their games. You know, Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, you know, Overwatch. If you play their games, you have a preconceived idea how these people are. But you don't know what they do at the barbecue or what they're like at home and stuff like that, you know? And little things like this, these little animations and, and stories and stuff like that is why I love, like, the Valorant cinematics and, you know, and Overwatch cinematics and stuff like that because it it's so it gives us that little bit of more humanization of these characters we just think of as units to play as in a video game you know i love that dude it's freaking adorable no, there dude honor and glory but their gleaming armor their mighty weapons the people who built them were heroes in their own right and i thought i was gonna follow in their footsteps but a hammer and tools can't fix every problem. There are oh. some things that can never be repaired. It's not enough to wait until the battle is over to fix their armor and bandage their wounds. If you can fight at their side, you can try to keep the blows from falling <laughs> and maybe even protect them from themselves. That's where you need. I am Brigitte Lindholm. And I will be their shield. Yeah, it's funny because like in a lot of these games and stuff, they feel like, oh, if you want to protect somebody, then you should be the healer. You know, homie, I don't have to be a healer. If I can take a hit for a loved one, then, you know, and that'll keep them afloat and alive, then homie, that's what we can do. You know, real talk. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, wrecking ball. Now we're definitely in the era I, I don't remember at all. Like, I wasn't even, it wasn't even on my radar. 
Journal Entry 1963-4, Harold Winston. Wait, I, rem I remember this. This was in the last Status video. Status update on Specimen 8. By now, we're all used to our super intelligent gorillas on the colony. But the hamster, <laughs> we've named him Hammond, continues to be one of Hammond. our biggest surprises. Wow. Even though he's grown from the genetic modification, we have more trouble keeping track of him than any of the other animals. Somehow, he managed to get out of his cage again. It took us days to find him. I can't help but wonder what it is he's Junker Town. when he gets out there. He's shown impressive problem-solving skills and adaptability to new situations. And he's overcome all the challenges that have been placed in front oh, of Oh, he... I don't remember if they had said that in the last video, um, that he was in that unit. Is that the same unit they fought in that video? I can't remember. It's been so long since that video now. Can't wait to see what trouble the little guy gets up to next. Who is that voice actor? Is that Greg Chun? I can't tell, but man, voice. I love it. I love it. Ash origin story. It said I clicked this one before. Oh, I think it might've been when I uh, got to the playlist. Everybody a little needs a family. Because Nobody's there for her it's birthday. It's not fair facing the world alone. I don't care how tough you think you are. They should always be there for support. No matter what. And she beat up on them dudes. In the best of times, they will Dang. arm you with the tools to succeed. And in the worst of times, I can fix her. They huh? will understand when things don't really go the way you planned. Okay, so like I don't know why, but like her and like McCree's thing always seems so back in the past, which doesn't make any sense because they're all here at the same time with the rest of Overwatch. But no, like their school, regular modern technology, advanced technology and stuff here now too. I don't know why. People are lucky enough to be born into the perfect family. Others. <laughs> well, they go out and make one on their own. Yeah, that's like her crew with like her family. And once you've done that, anything is possible if everyone pulls their own weight. She specifically did that to get that so, effect. If you want I would have got blown away. Family, I do have one little rule. It's my way. Or well, who am I kidding? It's my way. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no other option. <laughs> I like that. We got to kind of see like a bit of her sh uh, struggle, you know, like since she was a, a child. It seems like she really needed, she really wanted to go out and find her own family because her family wasn't there for her, you know, especially in during the most important parts of her life. You know, they weren't there for the good times like her birthday and they weren't there during the bad times when she was getting in trouble at school, you know, leading her to be in and out of the police station and stuff like that, even at a young age. So I think that's that's cool. I, I like that about her character. Baptiste. <laughs> Choices. What do you know about choices? 30 million orphaned children. I was one of them. The Omnic War robbed us of our choices. To survive, you did what you had to do. Steal or starve, kill or be killed. You helped your friends and hurt anyone who got in your way. If you hunger to rise above your circumstances, then when someone offered you a hand up, even the devil, you took it. It wasn't complicated. Dang. At least that was the lie. The hard life. Myself. The truth is, I had choices, and I made them. But when you think you're a big man, 
It's hard to admit that you are not a brave one. Oh, Even harder nah. when you understand that making a living is not enough. You must make a difference. I am oh, going to fight for a better world. He's for a some, healer. That means a bandage. For others, a bullet. Today, <laughs> I give you the choice. That's great. Uh, you know, of uh, after a life of having essentially no choice, you know, if he wanted to live, he is kind of in the situation now where he can give them a choice. You know, I can be, I can heal you when things go good, or I can be, we could be on the receiving end and whew. I don't know. I think that's really cool. Honestly, I feel like Baptiste is one of the most realistic characters in Overwatch. You're not likely to come across a cyborg ninja, a talking gorilla from the moon, or a genetically altered blue sniper. But a kid impacted by war, grew up with a bad crowd, is now fighting to make a difference. I'm sure plenty of people can relate to that experience, at least enough, you know. Baptiste is probably my favorite backstory personally. That moment when he realized he had become he had become the same thing that took everything away from him. He chose to change his future, became a hero. Yeah, it looked like he was forced in that situation to need to shoot the kid or something. I'm just like, whew. Ugh. Sigma. This is kind of what I was looking forward to because again, I knew nothing about Sigma until Overwatch 2. I didn't realize he was an Overwatch uh, 1 character. Um, <laughs> but I, I like the, what is that melody? I don't know why. That's, that goes so freaking hard to me, bro. I, I love that. <laughs> Gravity. Gravity is a harness. My entire career has been devoted to this idea. This one's quieter. To this moment. <laughs> Decades. Hold up, Vegeta hairline, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's time to cut it off, bro. You hanging on. You, it's hanging on for dear life, homeboy. Take it. I'm sorry. If the unifying theories are correct, we will soon be able to harness the power of a black hole. Nothing hey, will yo. ever be the same. Why? This is wrong. I'm gonna feel this failing. Ah! Oh, what happened? Where am I? Why am I being imprisoned? He released me! What is that melody? Hold it together. Hold it together. Melody? Hold it together. Hold it together. Hold it together. Density, mass, momentum. It is too much. It's too much to hold on to. Sanazi. I will bring you a new understanding of the universe. Violence. Whoa, 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 what is happening here? Is he split up between three different beings? Like, did the black hole send him, like, okay, this is probably completely wrong, but it's like um, his consciousness or or something was split between uh, different pa parallel universes or something. The universe is singing to me! Or maybe he's just crazy. What is that melody? Freedom. Imprisonment. It's all an illusion. Gravity is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. <laughs> That was the best one. That was literally the best one. That was the best one, dude. Oh, that was the. I will bring you a new understanding of violence. Dude, I literally, I had shivers down my spine that whole time. That was absolutely the best one, bro. Like, if I, it, I'd go as far to say. If I ever wanted to get somebody interested in the lore of Overwatch or even kind of nudge them to play the game or something, that is what I'd show them. I like again, I, I'm a like my favorite anime is Steins Gate. So that should be very, you know, telling of what I'm kind of into. And this is exactly that, you know, the, the almost psychological horror uh, nature 
of Sigma's dilemma here. Absolutely incredible. I, like, I need to see Gravity it again. Is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. It's singing to me! When it all starts falling apart, that's peak. They, I'm sorry. There's nothing that could be done here that could be improved upon. This is peak. This is peak. Like legit, this is the best animation Overwatch has done. Peak. Genuinely mwah, magnifique. It's perfect. Genuinely. That was the best one. And it's, and it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it's the best one. And it's not even close. And, and I loved a lot of them. I loved the, um, Moira one. I love the Doom Fist one. Um, the, uh, the Orisa one was great. Uh, the Soldier one was great. Like, they're all great. But man, that one, the universe, it's singing to me, dude. Whew. That was, that was some good stuff. Huh? That was some good stuff. Ah, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I know y'all want me to keep going because there's still a lot of good ones left. But man, again, I'm seeing this for the first time. <sighs> man, that was great. Echo origin story. An accident happened in the lab or something? So. This is it. Did, oh, so she was a real did woman. Did I make the world a better place? Today, we welcome Dr. Liao to Omnica Corporation. Oh. They had every reason to doubt me. You should join us. But I helped create the Omnics. And who better to help us fight them? And only Overwatch believed. You are my life's work. You will be everything I dreamed. All I mm. wanted, all I needed, was to help the world. And so she created me. Her legacy. Her promise. Okay. Her echo. Cool. I think what I liked about that one was that um, it's another one of those ones kind of like uh, uh, Orisa's where they the person who's widely responsible for the character isn't the character themselves, you know, like Doomfist is Doomfist, Moira is Moira, you know, uh, like it also has same thing for Wrecking Ball, um, you know, where these people kind of created, you know, the character in a way it makes me more interested in her, you know, the doctor, the scientist herself, you know, over, you know, Echo herself. Echo is basically, you know, a robot programmed with her hopes and dreams and I guess regrets too, you know? So especially since she kind of helped make the Omnics or whatever they were called, you know, the robots that caused this war and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's interesting that we have, you know, her in the game now and stuff too. She's neat. I remember playing as her a couple of times, you know, I don't know if she's for me, but I like how she plays though. She's very interesting. We got Sojourn. Okay, these. Okay, th this is where Overwatch 2's ones start. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I think there's one more after Ilari um, that they actually just did a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to make sure I do that one too and not miss it. This meeting of the International Justice Commission is now called to order. Please state your name and call sign for the record. Acting Commander Vivian Chase. Call sign Vivian Sojourn. Chase. How did you come to join Overwatch? 
My unit of the Canadian Special Forces teamed up with Ov Oh, oh, back then, earlier in the video, I was like, I'm not sure who that is. That's Sojourn. Oh, so she was there back, back then when, you know, Soldier was young. You know, a lot of time, I still not fully sure on what the timeline is like, you know, like they thought soldier died years ago you know and so he's been a vigilante for all this time technically longer than he's been a soldier you know so i don't know a watch during the omni crisis jack the morrison crisis. and i worked well together and after the war he reached out can you give us some examples of duties you performed whatever was needed Sometimes I ran point for our agents in the field. Other times I commanded the operation. No matter what their mission was, mine was to bring every last one of them home. It sounds mm. like you hoped for the impossible. I know. But they gave me the impossible every single day. Dang. It was the honor of a lifetime to have served with Overwatch. But you can love a thing with your whole heart and still know it's time to say goodbye. Even the best journeys end. But a new one is right around the corner. And you never know where that road is gonna take you. I, I do like that her you know, backstory is tied to soldiers, you know, uh, because in the game, she's actually, I guess what you'd call like my main her and, and, uh, Ray, uh, Reaper. Um, I haven't played that much overwatch too, but when I was playing the game, it was either her or Reaper. And, um, I like her character a lot. Uh, I do like soldier as well. Maybe it's just because I'm a freaking call of duty, you know, uh, uh OG, you know, or something, but <laughs> I, I like her character a, a lot though. It, it's pretty neat. Again, I'm still not fully sure on the placement, but it has to be a long time ago. Like, okay. Like she's definitely more human here. She like, she doesn't have the cybernetics or anything and her hair is black here, but she's older here because I assume, you know, that's what the white hair is supposed to insinuate, um, here. And she's also mostly machine here, as you can tell by her, her face and her arms. So hmm. again, I'm not fully sure, but how long it's supposed to take place between like, like, Soldier's original command, and now. One, two, three, four. Junker Queen. She's a colossus, born from the sand, rise above a station, and born as a man. <laughs> <laughs> what is? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh um, man, yeah. Cause oh, that, that comment actually made me think. Oh, uh, it kind of sucks. I, I want to see her interactions with Junkrat and and Roadhog. Dang. We gave him the new queen. Dang. Well, I know sacrifice and I know pain. Omnix Mutants Raiders, many I'd slay. Junkirk Town is my domain. And when I'm done, none of this will remain. There will be a reckoning. Dang. Oh, I love how they did the logo there. That's neat. It, it, I feel like we got more of her origin from the other video. This was just kind of like a, a, like a very short version, a synopsis, I guess, you know, but that, that was neat too. That was neat too. Hold, hold up. Sitting on the throne. That's always freaking fire, bro. That's all I care about. That's fire. Here you go. This one I was really looking forward to. She might have to be the thumbnail. We're going we're gonna to find out. For generations, my family has served and protected our city by following traditional paths. My grandmother devoted herself to the fox spirit. 
who taught her the ancient way of healing. Hmm. Whereas my mother has chosen the path of the blade. Passing down time-honored skills through training and discipline. I get the best of both worlds. I knew each of them wanted me to follow her path. But I couldn't choose. Training quiets my mind and opens me to the fox spirit's guidance. And my bond with her lets me protect those who can't fight for themselves. They both made me feel whole. And they both felt like home. For generations, my family Hold on, was her hair always that color? And protected our city by following traditional paths. Me? Why? <laughs> I made my own. I I'd say I like uh her other uh, trailer thing better too. Oh, that's cute. Uh, but I I really like this one too. It was neat uh getting to find out more about her family and stuff. Like we knew the grandmother was the one who, you know, originally was dedicated to the fox spirit and the mother wasn't, you know, but we didn't actually see the grandmother in the other trailer, you know? So it's neat that we actually got to like see what she looked like here and some of Kiriko's, you know, younger days. That was pretty cool. This is a character. I have no idea who this is. The next two characters, I have, I have no idea who that is. Ramatra. I was created to lead Omnix into war. Oh, the Omnix leader? Oh, I didn't think we'd be getting that. But all I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. Really? The fact that we exist is a miracle unto itself. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. We have tried to coexist with humanity, but humanity is not interested in sharing their world. How many more Omnics should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? No more. Our race is only a single generation. Finite and dying all too quickly. Ooh. We can find our own place and we must. Bro, why do these look like belt buckles, bro? Sorry. Join me and together we will make a better future for all Omnix. Dang, dude. Ah, oh, man. Wait, it seems like the more frustrated or upset uh, Ramatra gets, the more digitized his voice gets. I noticed that too. Man, I really did like uh, that one a lot. Like, like that was definitely like the next best one after Sigma's. That was a really good one. It was it didn't beat Sigma's, but that one was really good too. Man, that was a really good one. So this one was actually made this year. Life Weaver. I have no idea who this is either. No idea. A perfect world is a perfect prison. Isn't that the thing that um I have no idea what her name is. Um, but you know I'm talking about uh the other woman who who uses like that kind of same technology. Is he connected to her? They taught us uniformity is strength. Like links in a chain that there was a formula for success that we all must follow. But <laughs> I've never been much of a follower. So I stepped away beyond their lifeless gardens into the wild, wider world to explore. Oh shoot, infinity. Jojo part seven. And I learned that our home needs help. Dang. Ravaged.
Each step has led me closer to understanding how passion and calculation, failure and resilience, science and life, all brought together, can lead us to something honest, vital, true. Mm. Perfection is overrated. Our strength lies in our differences, in our compassion, our willingness to grow. We think he's Jesus. <laughs> I have brought nature and technology together to That's create neat. a new possibility, and I will heal our world. That's neat. That's neat. I like the the character motivations for um, a lot of these uh, characters and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I haven't touched the game since he's been in this game. I, I have no idea who they are. Um, it is like emotional with Flash going from Ramatra to Life Weaver. You know, one guy wants to start a war and the other one wants to, <laughs> wants to pet a deer. <laughs> uh, man, I, I would love to see how some of these characters uh, interact with each other and stuff. I'd love to see more of that. I mean, beyond just like the little quips they say at the beginning of rounds and stuff. I'd like to see it full out. Lari. Actually, is this the last one? Three months ago? I think, I feel like there's one more, but this could be the newest one. There are days I will always remember when the sun and the world were bright. Solar energy filled all our needs, but only a few could bring the sun's power into themselves. These were the Inti warriors, but we call them the Children of the Sun. Children of the Sun. They aided our people in so many ways, as providers, healers, and in times of danger, our protectors. Mm. I was always told I would become a warrior, a big responsibility, but I had oh, a gift that could help my people, so I trained. At last came the day they said I was ready to join their ranks and embrace the sun. Ooh. Oh, that was probably not so, dude, that face, like that original face of horror, that is chilling. There are days I will always remember. That was not your fault. Was it my fault that no, no. one knew the true extent of my power? Yeah, that was not your fault. You couldn't have known that. To this day, I still don't understand what I did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. But it doesn't matter anymore. I will make up for what I've done. Because I am Iliari. And I am the last Iliari. child of the sun. Dang, that was kind of that that kind of gave me goosebumps. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of gave me goosebumps. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Her design is raw, bro. Dude, her design is raw, man. Hold up, okay. I I kind of need to see um, if uh, there's another one. Okay, yeah, there is a new one right here. It it's the 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 Mog Maga. Yeah, him. This is origin story here. Um, there's the hero gameplay trailer, um, that I still probably need to see, but I, these aren't the, the really, oh, animated shorts. These I need to see is, there, I bet you there's more animated shorts too that I, I, I've yet to see. Um, 
because they don't put them all in in one yeah they don't put them all in one uh thing okay they put them all in like one thing dude i really freaking hate that um animated short infiltration reunion okay wait a second i i did see see it like this oh it's out of order that's why i didn't watch that so i need to watch uh calling genesis part three wait all these Genesis ones. Whoa, dude, there's dude, there's a bunch of Overwatch stuff I probably still need to see. I definitely saw all of these. Um rem- uh yeah, they have the origin stories here now. Okay, so there's probably only a few I haven't seen. I didn't see any of these Genesis ones. Um, and I didn't see uh calling so these ones are the only ones i haven't seen so i will keep that uh noted so for now let's go ahead and watch the final origin story for maga which came out three weeks ago okay let's see i don't know why he reminds me of maui a little bit oh that's a vibe Good to be alive. Ooh, I'm gonna let voice. you know a little secret. <laughs> I wasn't always the friendly, carefree guy you see before you today. <laughs> yeah, what well, were you? Things very seriously. I never had time for fun. Dang. But one day I realized. Something had to change. I needed to work on me. Oh, he getting some stuff implanted in him. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Now I've got a whole new outlook on life. I realize that it's okay to put myself first. Found out that I have a knack for bringing people together. Whoa! And yeah, I you do. Loose with friends. <laughs> oh, so he's a bad guy. Yeah. Should have seen that coming. I work hard. And I play hard. So, I only have one question for you. Ready to have some fun? Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. What does this character thing look like in the game? He a big dude. He doesn't even look like an Overwatch character. I guess the mechanical part looks like, but then the model actually looks pretty different than um, other Overwatch stuff. But yeah, that was every single uh, origin story. I don't think because it, it didn't it seems like not everybody has an origin story, you know, like I didn't see a Widowmaker origin story, you know, um, I didn't see a uh, an origin story for, you know, this person or that person. I think their animated shorts was enough. Like I learned enough, you know, about, say, Joker Queen from from hers, you know. That just makes more sense to me. McCree's, I, I learned a bit of what I need to know about his character in there. But I do kind of wish I saw more about him. Like, what was he like as a child? What made him, you know, start living this kind of life? I do really want to see that Sojourn one. Um, it's like, I could throw it here. Um, but maybe I'll wait for more animated shorts to drop. Um, and because we're already about at an hour. Um, so I guess I'll give my final thoughts. Um, I love these. I I thought they were great. Um, if I can probably say which was my favorites, um, I'd say, um, top five would be number, uh, number five would probably be, hmm, number five might be life weaver um then i'd probably say ilari and then it would probably be uh this is hard um moira 
Um, and then it would probably be Ramatra and Sigma as number uh, one. Ramatra is two, Sigma as one. So yeah, that I, I know that that's a lot of them are like later on one. And I did really love like Soldiers was really good. Uh, Sombras was really good. Aresis was really nice. Um, even Doomfist one was really good. Um, I think the Doomfist one is slightly you could you could interchange Doomfist with Life Weaver. I like Life Weavers, but I feel like I just like the design, you know, and I like his outlook, you know. Um, so you could interchange Doomfist and and Life Weaver. They're basically tied for me. Um, um, but and, and you could even argue he's tied with Ramatra. Okay, I think we'll say that he's tied with Ramatra for for second or tied with Alari. Okay, look at this, guys. I know that doesn't make any sense and it's flip floppy, but bro, it's freaking my list. And he's basically top five, too. I have six in my top five. All right. That's just something we're all going to have to accept. Um, but I really enjoyed this video. So I hope you guys did too. If you guys want me to react to more Overwatch stuff, you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It lets me know you want more like this video. Um, I plan on doing a lot more reaction stuff. I think to kind of get off, you know, the track here a little bit, um, I, I still am doing Skyrim, but I, I've realized something about myself is that I limit myself too much when it comes to YouTube. You know, whenever I'm doing reactions, I'm like, oh, I could be gaming, you know, and then when I'm gaming, it's like, oh, I could be reacting, you know? So. I think I'm just at the point where I'm just like, bro, I'm just going to do both. Who cares? You know, can't, no, nobody's saying I can't react to things. I can't. Who says I can't react to Overwatch today and upload Skyrim tomorrow? Who says I can't do that? Who says I can't upload Skyrim and then react to Scott Pilgrim versus the world the next day? Who says I can't, you know? And I think that's just the energy I'm going to start bringing to my channel. If I want to do it, I'm going to freaking do it. If I'm going to play a game nobody's ever heard of, I'm going to make a good video on it and, you know, m make it something that I hope you guys would watch too. So again, I'm at that energy where you don't have to watch every video, but I'm going to make every video worth watching. So I hope you'll join me on that journey. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace. Remember everyone to play some games, have some fun. Also, Bloodborne is still going to be happening, you know, as well, but I'm just trying to make those a lot bigger parts, you know, but yeah. Um, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace. Remember everyone to play some games, have some fun, and enjoy your day today.